Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls Part 24. Here we are, this is the arena where we fought the uh, demon Fire Sage, which if you remember was just that asylum demon but more fiery. Killed him, came this way, went upstairs, and found a shortcut back to the Fair Lady Bonfire, um, where we kind of just chilled and <laughs> talked about the backstory of this whole place for a bit. But uh, today we're going to continue onwards to the level, which is down this way. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can find. Uh, so this is where we're going to start to see that this whole area is a very unique and weirdly designed area of the game. And what I mean by that is uh, in terms of how it's all arranged, like I've talked about how Dark Souls, one of its strongest points is its level design. But this whole like uh, demon ruins, hot lava section of the game, um, if I remember right, this is this was kind of like the last minute rushed area that they had to make right when uh, crunch time the game was finishing up and so because of that they ended up um, sort of rushing and making this area not to the high stand like it's not bad right like I still enjoy playing through this area just like the rest of the game but like you're gonna notice some weird quirks right um, so here's a soul item just don't forget that uh, because mainly right like we just killed the boss right and normally um, I'm trying to figure out how to get down here safely uh, might survive the fall but I don't know uh, probably drop down here um, but yeah so we just fought a boss right but as you can see with that fog wall and the summoning sign uh, we got another boss immediately right after which um, I don't think that happens anywhere else in the game <laughs> so and then as we get on to the later parts of the game you're gonna see like this area is kind of weirdly designed in terms of like just, it looks rushed just like they were placing things um, so anyway here's Solaire let's just uh, summon him get him ready for this fight uh, we don't exactly need him for this fight. This is one of those things where he's more useful as a distraction than for actually killing the thing. Uh, that being said, he's probably gonna somehow pull through this time. Find that the AI is really hit or miss with your uh, buddies. Oh wait, I can do that now too. Um, let's give him a little praise the sun here. Praise the sun. All right, and onwards we go. So uh, yeah. Just keep in mind, uh, things are going to look a little weird level design-wise, but otherwise, um, if you don't overthink it like I do because I make games, um, just think we were in Lava Land fun <laughs> hot times. So, let's see what awaits us next. Alright, here's the centipede demon, which, uh, if you remember last time, I sort of like hinted at that statue we saw. Um, it's not a statue, it's a centipede demon, and I use the word centipede very loosely here. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot going on there, not just a centipede. So, this is an interesting boss because, uh, as you can see, we don't have much elbow room to work with here. And he's gonna sort of be annoying at the start of this and just sort of keep doing that, and I think it's because... Solaire is just, and uh, yeah, my timing is bad here. But it's, uh, he's slowly inching his way towards us, and then we're gonna allow Solaire to take a beating. But we need him to get close to us, otherwise we can't actually do much, <laughs> because lava will kill you really quick here. Um, but again, just oh, this is uh, okay. There we go. Yeah, he's aiming. Okay, maybe I can't attack that. Oh, all right, he's doing other things now. That's good. Uh, no, it's there. Don't go in the lava. Oh, okay. He's got more health than I thought. So maybe he'll be fine. Um, either way, you really need to be careful here. Because once he gets this close... Oh, he grabbed me. Let's see if I survive. Yeah, that, that, that would hurt a lot. I'm just in a lava mouth. Oh, just barely. Let's see if we can get the heal off. Oh boy. Yeah, this is the attack I don't like. So, we actually want to cut his tail off because we're going to get a very important item if we do that. And oh my god, we are doing way more damage than I thought. So, I guess. Uh, okay. About cutting the tail off, right? Uh, if we're lucky. Oh, did we have to actually kill this thing? Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> so, yeah, we got the orange charred ring, which if I don't die here, I just, I just kill the boss. <laughs> 
All right, and Solaire even survived. Look at that. All right, that went way smoother than I was worried about. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks, Solaire. Uh, you actually really kind of helped there, I guess. Uh, get the usual junk for winning. Um, but anyway, more importantly, we got that orange charred ring, right? So, as I was saying, with lava, if we stepped into it, we're gonna we're gonna die really fast because you know it's like thousands of degrees hot. But with this orange charred ring, we can mostly walk on lava. All right, like it's not gonna make us invincible, but look at that, it's not doing much at all. So now we can sort of explore the level more freely. Um, and so the reason we uh, cut the tail off there was that. If you cut the tail off and then die to this fight, you still get the ring. So then, when you come back, you can uh, you can put it on and then just use this whole arena properly, and then the fight becomes a lot easier. Um, the thing is, though, and I could be wrong with like you have to die about it. I just I just remember that's how it went down on my first playthrough, where I was fighting it in a panic. I somehow cut the tail off, and I don't think I even realized I did because I just got a ring out of nowhere. And then um, I died, put it on, and the fight was pretty straightforward. But uh, yeah, or you can just do what I did and uh, just hang out over there. There's enough room to make it work. The AI is kind of derpy, so uh, you'll be fine. So let's uh, continue onwards. Um, this is where you want to go, over here. And uh, again, just sort of get our bearings right above us. It's a little hard to see. But right above us is that stairwell bridge place that we went to right before the Demon Fire Sage. Um, so yeah, we went down the stairs, obviously, and now we're here. So we're going to continue on through this um, lava tunnel here. And we're actually going to find Solaire chilling right here. So uh, let's see what he has to say. And another bonfire, by the way. And a quick little tangent. Um, part of what I think, um, when it comes to what I consider like strong Dark Souls level design, is how much they're able to reuse the bonfire, right? So like, let's take somewhere, for example, like... Um, Oh, I don't know. Uh, Sen's Fortress, right? Uh, maybe not, because there's not too many shortcuts there. But think of it like the level is this. You use the same bonfire throughout the same level, but then you're just opening shortcuts. And then like the level's opening up, and you're making progress, but you're all still in one bonfire. So the opposite of that is sort of what we're seeing here, where just as you progress through the game, you're just getting new bonfires and new areas. It's a lot more linear, and a lot of the later games of Dark Souls is just like that as well. Um, so just one little thing to point out there. Um, more importantly, let's see what Solera has to say. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Can't find something. Uh, if you guys remember what he's looking for is uh, his son. Why? Why? After all this... I think that's all he's going to say. He's just going to sort of lay down here mutter mumbling, muttering. Um, not much else we can do with him for now, so we're just gonna light this bonfire and uh, spend some of these souls. And I think we just short of two levels here. Um, yeah, I want to get like 30 vitality, and then I'll pop a soul item in a second here to uh, to get the last bits we need there. Um, and if we go down here, we'll just use yeah, one of these, I guess. Probably be enough. Uh, oh, I hope that's enough. It is not. It's fine though. Uh, <laughs> we'll just use a few of. Uh, let's use some of these. Right? Um, this these five. A little overkill, but it's fine. All right, there we go. Twenty-five vitality. A little bit more, and you know, steadily, steadily, our health is getting a lot more, a lot better. So you know, if you remember the in the fight just before that, the demon grabbed us and like started biting us. And uh, had we not been leveling up our health, that probably would have killed us. But yeah, this area, again, like I said, it's kind of rushed. And a lot of people, <laughs> some people really don't like this place for just all sorts of annoying reasons. Um, one of them is just now, as you can see, when I'm running through the lava, it's this constant sound effect there, which can be annoying. Um, this whole area, too, looks much better in the remastered, I'll say. But um, back in Dark Souls uh, original for PC, um, this whole area just looked awful, like <laughs> the bloom was really strong on the lava and like it was just a mess to the eyes. Um, anyway, as for exactly where we are, right, we're down in Lost Isolith, which is the actual city of um, the Daughter of Chaos, or and oh no, the Witch of Isolith, sorry, not the Daughter of Chaos, and her daughters of Chaos, but um, 
yeah, Lost Isolith is the actual original place. And um, the Demon Ruins were more like what it turned into after Chaos. Um, this place is based on the Anger Wat, by the way. Um, it's in real life. Somewhere in Southeast Asia, I forget exactly where. It might be Thailand. I could be wrong if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But uh, you're also going to notice there's a lot of these uh, dragon butts, is what they're called. Just like the lower halves of zombie dragons. Um, and they're kind of just chilling here, right? They're not actually... Now, if you mess with them, they will <laughs> they'll bite back real hard. But if you just sort of keep your distance, they're, they're just more decoration. And this is what I mean by, like, you know, they, they just sort of made this lava level. And then I think sort of last minute, it's like, oh god, place all the enemies that we can. Um, which, you know, some people may or may not like, but... All in all, it's, it's a little more rushed than your standard quality of Dark Souls. Now, um, I know one of these areas is a secret wall, so we need a bit of banging, but yeah. It's not too much to go off of around here. Um, I did a lot of explaining in the last episode of the uh, Demon Ruins and all it's about, so you kind of know their story, right? The Witch of Isolith. Oh god, one of the dragon butts. Okay, okay, here's where I want to go. This up, it's not a mimic. Not a mimic. We'll get soul of a great hero. I think this actually is the biggest soul item in the game. And it's found in a treasure chest, of course, which is kind of cool. Um, okay, yeah, I think this one is not happy with us, so we're gonna just proceed a bit carefully. Um, and there's actually so this is a big area, right? There's a lot to explore. Um, I think there's even some soul items sort of just like sprinkled around. Nothing too critical though. Uh, okay, I think we actually where we want to go is over there. Although, are those some soul items over there? I think it might be. Alright. Before we do that, though, uh, I'm trying to look for the secret here. It's going to make sense why I want it so badly. Nope. I'm not misremembering it. <laughs> that it's up above. Ah, here it is, yep. Yeah. And we got a bonfire. Yep. Which, again, it's like... How many bonfires did we already get within like the first 12 minutes of this episode? Like, this is the third one, <laughs> which, you know, by the end of the day, it's not a big deal, but it's, it's definitely different than what we've been experiencing, right? Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, that, that looks like an item to me, so let's go for it. We rest it at the bonfire. If we die, we die. Um, oh boy, yeah. Uh, these guys, you can kill them, but they are uh, very difficult to do that. I wouldn't recommend it unless. Oh boy. Can I not get over there? This is scary. Oh boy. Uh, it might be good. Ooh. Yeah, let's see, they'll do that big butt slam attack. And um, that'll kill you real quick. Looks like we can squeeze in over here. I would hope that they can. Oh, that's right. They can do damage to each other, by the way. So if you want to just kill them, <laughs> that's a smart way to do it, I guess. Get a divine blessing and another one. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever actually gotten these items. I don't know about them. Probably because in the original, like you can't even see. Like you don't. Even, like looking at the lava was like looking at the sun in real life. You just, you just don't do it. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna just hurt your eyes. Um, let's see. Let's just. Oh god, this sound is just droning right now. Let's uh, take this guy out. Whoa. Alright, um, so yeah, I feel like I've been dilly daddling a bunch this episode so far, so let's kinda... Let's kinda start making some progress, you know? Uh, just rest back at the bonfire real quick. And let's start making our way upwards, uh, out of this lava area, and into that sort of main structure over there. And... Mainly gonna be one on navigating through all these routes. Um... This one right here is going to take us where we want to go. Now, obviously, too, if you just sort of <coughs> follow the presented path, it's not it's not too hard to get lost, right? Like, there's patches that flow into each other and then eventually lead us to this branch up here, which is taking us up this way. Um, oh, this might not even be the main way. <laughs> this is a... Okay, yeah, this is just an item. Um, let's see what we get, though. It's doing humanities. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Um, oh, I think that's actually the branch we want. It might not be. It might be somewhere else. <laughs> I'm so confused. Either way, let's just quickly look up here. Um, yeah, you can snipe the dragon butts with arrows from up here as well, if you're into that. Um, but okay, I guess we don't actually want to go up this way. My bad. 
Yeah, I think that might be where we want to go. So, uh, let's go that way. And then here, don't want to take too much fall damage, because, yeah, this place is just, like, the war of attrition. Because, uh, I'm just steadily taking so much damage walking through the lava. It's really annoying. So, I think, uh... Yeah, you want, you want to be smart, like, right? Like, take the shortest path between the paths. I mean, between the islands where you can stay safe. Yeah, right here. This is what we want, I think. And we can start making our way up here. Yeah. That's the problem. Is like, everything looks so the same. It's like, in my head, I vaguely remembered. Yeah, we gotta go up some slope tree branch to get to where we want to go. But not that one. This one, of course. But um, once we get into here, I actually start to like this level a lot more. It's just that outer area that seems kind of big. And we even got a color change. And now things are looking more like the demon ruins again. Um, ooh, this next place, yeah, we got a lot of these statues to fight. Um, ooh, come on. Trick me. Uh, yeah, nothing else. Uh, yeah, and these guys are going to get caught on the branches too. And that, again, is like, I know I'm criticizing this level a lot, but little things like that are just sort of like <laughs> the marks of uh, a rush level, kind of. And again, I, like, I don't want to, I don't want to like, you know, talk down <laughs> to the developers. Like, you know, crunch is crunch, and you know, when, you, when you're near the end of the game, you sort of, or like the deadline of release, you gotta just, you know, make something happen. Um, and by the end of the day, you know, this level's playable, so. Still very good. There's gonna be a lot of these things in here. Again, they're like, not even that dangerous. But, okay, this is where it's a case of, if you're not careful, and then like five of them surround you, you might be in trouble. But if we just uh, play smart, take them out one at a time, everything will go smoothly. And up there, by the way, is going to be a new enemy. <laughs> That's the, uh, I don't even know what they're called, <laughs> like the Chaos Eater or something like that. I guess uh, that will, we'll see in a bit. I can look it up after. <laughs> but. Either way, this is like, now we're in the core of, uh, insanity, like, eldritch abominations. <laughs> Let's just check behind me. I don't want, yeah, see, that guy would have snuck up behind me as I was fighting. Just giving me a bad time. So, let's, uh, take this thing on and see what we can do. Yeah, these guys, uh, there's, a. Uh, there's, there's some annoyances with them, so obviously, to like, that's the business end of their problems. They have a grab attack where if they have oh, two hits, okay. they have a grab attack where they'll just like lift you up and put you in their head mouth, and then they'll take a bunch of damage. And if you try to do a plunging attack on them, you'll actually fall in their face and not <laughs> have a good time. So uh, we're gonna be careful about those things. Um, just sort of clear out this area, see what else we can find. Right up here, we can our way down this way and find some items I think yeah right there Let's just make sure there's nothing else here before I drop down always always anytime you're playing a Souls game right when you're just exploring somewhere new my approach is always just to sort of go down all of your sort of non one-way paths first and then circle back right like so we just came to this point right like we could have just dropped down right away but then we would have had to come back to explore this area. So it's like, all right, I don't know what's over here. Maybe there's more drop downs, but either way, let's just see what we can find. And we found an item and now we can turn around and now we can come back here and everything's done efficiently. Uh, just a rare sacrifice, which we don't need, but <laughs> at least we picked up all the shiny items, hooray. So let's uh, go back to where we were. Um, some of you may have noticed there was a hooded figure uh, staring at us. Let's, uh, Let's go see what they're about. Looking kind of like uh, Quelana, was it? The pyromancer that we met outside of. Um, at the bottom of Blight Town. Yeah, except this one's standing up and is a lot less friendly. Normally I would just bum rush her, but. Oh, yeah, be careful. Yeah, we got one last invasion from Kirk. Okay, that was mean. Oh. 
and she's using all the chaos pyromancies, of course. Alright, and down he goes. Oh, boy. yeah, watch. Oh, jeez. At least we got Kirk. <laughs> oh my, wait, do I keep those souls? Because I got them after I died? No, okay, <laughs> that would have that been cool. But, um, either way, as long as we uh, don't mess up too badly, should be pretty straightforward to get back to where we were. I think we can even run past all the statues. So yeah, what she did there, <laughs> by the way, it was, uh, I think it was called Great Chaos Firestorm. Um, I believe we actually have that pyromancy. It's the one that, um, when we gave 30 humanity to, uh, the fair lady, she, uh, she gave us that as well. And, uh, yeah, as you, I don't know if you could tell too exactly what happened there, <laughs> but when you cast it, your character will sort of, like, put some fire in their hand and then, uh, and, like, slam it into the ground, and then it just erupts all over the surrounding place. Um, it's definitely cool, but, and there's definitely cases where you're going to want to use it. Um, personally, I find that it has, like, just too much of a wind-up, and you end up being exposed, because if you get caught during that phase, it cancels the attack, and then it's no good, which uh, we're actually going to use that to our advantage when fighting her in a second here. But first, let's just take on these things. Most of those statues are going to go back, so I don't have to worry about it. And I believe these things will drop red night chunks if you're looking for those. Not entirely sure. Gonna have to double check that. But anyway, with Kirk down, let's uh, let's not play nicely this time. Let's not give her a chance to. Yeah. <laughs> so, a bit of a glass cannon. She was just come in and uh, smack her quick, and she doesn't stand a chance. So, uh, she's gonna also drop the Isolith Catalyst, which is just another one. Um, this is the boss right here, by the way. So we can do that. But before we do that, we actually wanna explore a few more areas. Uh, so over here is another demon thing. Oh god. Yeah, we cannot get the stagger there. We got a lot of souls too. Um, oh yeah, so this I don't think is a mimic. This should be a pyromancy. Yeah, chaos fire whip. That one's kind of cool actually. You sort of like, I guess, <laughs> imagine having a whip and just I've made a fire and you whip it. It's uh, straightforward as that. I don't think. Yeah, no, we can't go down there. Now there is one other area. One less major important thing we got to do before we take on the boss. Um, and that is in this direction. I think it's back down, actually. This way. And then to the right. And let's just uh, we're gonna fight a few more of these things. Uh, or not. Oh, duh. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So I guess it's not here. Uh, tell you what, let's uh, let's call it a wrap up at this point. We're 23 minutes in. That's uh, that should make for a good episode. And next time we will uh, pick things up where we left off. Um, I'll find where we got to go <laughs> next. Uh, again, my bad. Should probably have these things planned out a little bit better. But I, I do have notes, guys. I do have notes. Um, but they're kind of vague notes, right? It's just like a little simple checklist and then it's like I get to the level and I forget where the actual things are and then just you get to have fun watching me flop around but anyway let's uh let's call it an episode guys thank you so much for watching as always I very much appreciate it and I hope you had a fun time I had a fun time I think you guys know the drill at this point <laughs> so with that all being said I will see you guys next time